have Bob Pisani, Rick Santelli's with us. Euro Pacific Capital's Peter Schiff is also with us today, as is Core State's Capital Advisors, Bill Spiropoulos. Welcome all around. Bob Pisani, the energy level's high here at the big board today. You know, we can't even have a nice, boring, quiet close <laughs> into a three-day weekend. We're standing here all of a sudden, a little after 2 o'clock, word comes out, uh, Dow Jones wire, that Bankia was getting a lot more money than people anticipated, $23, $24 billion. Bottom line is uh, markets dropped. We lost several dozen points on that. So this is the problem, guys. We are just hostages to headlines all of the time. And anytime you think we're stabilizing, and it's been a pretty good week, the S&P's up 1.5% or so, uh, you get little headlines and you drop you a little bit more. A little and, stabilization. And Peter Schiff, this is exactly water. what the markets have been focusing on for a while now. It's all about Europe right now, isn't it? Peter Schiff. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I was when distracted. When I say your name, well, you know, it's time for you to I, I, talk. In my mind, it's not all yeah, about Europe. I think in some people's minds it is. But, you know, I think Europe is, is really foreshadowing a bigger problem here in the United States. But, you know, I think there's still some short-term downside risk in the market. But I think the central banks, unfortunately, are not going to allow a substantial collapse in, in stock prices. I think they're going to come in with more money printing. And ultimately, you're going to see a reversal in nominal stock prices will rise. Uh, but but it, it's not going to be good economic policy. It's not going to be good for the economy. That's exactly what we don't need. And well, Bill, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's talk about that, though. I mean, Peter, what is your sort of expectation in terms of how this plays out here? A lot of debate on whether or not we'll have a disorderly or orderly exit of Greece from the euro, or do you expect perhaps the Greece stays in the euro? You know, I don't even know. I mean, it, it, there, there are several different ways it could play out. Long term, I think the worst thing that can happen for the Eurozone is for Greece to stay there and, the, and you to have this moral hazard where uh, everybody is basically subsidizing everybody else's profligacy. The only way that it makes sense for Greece to stay in that Eurozone is if they can force Greece to, to undergo more austerity. Uh, yeah. But I think that if, if those are the choices, the Eurozone would be better off if Greece left. And I think there's more of a long-term yeah. threat uh, for Greece remaining in the euro than leaving. I think that, that, is, that is overblown. But I don't know. The politics are very strong. I mean, there's right. a lot of okay. incentives yeah. sure. for politicians in Europe to do what's wrong in the long run in order to appease the voters in the short run. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what we're doing here. I mean, no, there's a powerful temptation for politicians uh, to, to avoid swallowing the bitter-tasting medicine right. that yeah. is necessary to, cre to <laughs> correct the problem. Let me, let me, let me get Bob Pisani here. Bob trying to say something there? Well, the people keep, uh, I'm picking up on Peter's theme, people keep talking about the mood on the streets of Athens. Peter, what about the mood on the streets of Berlin? How, how much longer are the Germans going to be willing to write the checks? Because no matter what scenario I see here, the Germans have got to write a big check. Yeah. Bill Sparapolis. Yeah, you know, oh, I mean, you've got, they're, 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 they're burning these, uh, the, these Merkel dolls in effigy in Greece. They, they should be doing it in, in, in Berlin. I mean, they never should have signed on to this deal uh, yeah. to have to pick up uh, the tab for the irresponsible governments in Greece and other parts of Europe. They Listen, can't do yeah, it. The, no the more than uh, you know, people in some, in, in some states, if people in Texas don't want to have to pay for the, for the deficits in California. Yeah, yeah, but who I'm knows? That I'm might I'm happen. I'm wondering I mean, if next week the focus returns to the U.S. Rick Santelli, you've got some Fed speak coming out next week. You've got the GDP. You've got uh, uh, unemployment numbers. What are you seeing ahead of all that? Well, Fed speak. They're going to be nervous about Europe and hold out the notion of quantitative easing, but it's a political hot potato, so I moved that right off. It's about two unemployment data points, ADP on Thursday instead of Wednesday, BLS on Friday, and our second look of first quarter GDP on Thursday. If you were disappointed with 2.2, looks like we're going to end up with 1.8 or 1.9. Uh, you look at the Chinese stock market, you can see the cross trade flows out of Europe are impacting that as well as weak loan demand. I'll tell you, Maria, I, I just can't be optimistic. Even if we are the cleanest dirty shirt, it's still not that clean. No. Well, be that as it may, Bill. And I don't think we're the cleanest we one. I think we're dirtier. People just haven't Bill, figured it Bill out yet. And you know, when people turned. say that the problems I in Europe are hurting us, they're actually <laughs> helping us because people are yeah. so worried about Listen, Europe, they're buying dollars and they're buying that's treasures. That's so. Yeah, let, let's bring Bill in here. Go ahead, Bill. What were you saying? You have to look forward, and I think that um, the gloomers and the babble and all the negative stuff has been center stage for a long time. We've had just about a one-third correction for off of the October lows. 
I think the news gets better going forward. There's change coming to America. There's a lot of bullish things. The mamby pamby politicians globally are going to get sent home. And talk to this Greek, okay? Eight out of ten Greeks don't want to leave the euro because they know the politicians get a free ride and the quality of life gets a whole lot well, worse. Well, if they don't want to leave the euro, Bill, why did they vote the way they did on the last election? A great Why do point. people vote the way they do? What, you, not everybody goes out and votes. I mean, it's I pretty clear that, that the, the elections in election. Greece right now, the Greeks, the, the elections in Greece right now are a, a uh, you know, a proxy on whether they want to stay in the euro or not, the, whether they want to bail out money. The Greek or the voters plans. want something for nothing. That's what all voters want. All That's voters what they're want voting for. for nothing. Well, 70, look, 75, they, look, let, let's look at the 75 percent of the people who were polled this week said they would like to stay in the euro. That's what the people are saying. Uh, the problem, and I think what you're saying is that, yes, they, they would like to, the idea of staying in the euro sounds good, but they don't necessarily want to take the cuts and the austerity that come along with it. Yeah, uh, but, but you know, the thing, irony of it is plan. They, they don't have the a euro plan. Zone and they yeah. get the drachma, they're going to have even bigger cuts because the drachma is going to collapse and real wages in Greece are going to fall a lot more if they leave the euro than if they stay there and, and swallow the austerity. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate okay. your time tonight and have a nice weekend. We'll see you soon.